Hi, I'm Mark from FarmBot, and in this video, I want to give you a brief overview of a safe and reliable FarmBot installation. Whether you're building a mobile garden bed or a fixed raised bed, there are a few things that you need to think about before you start building your FarmBot garden bed. You will need to plan out how you're going to provide power, water, and the internet to the FarmBot. As much as possible, we suggest minimizing trip hazards. So if you're able to route the utilities underground using a conduit, that is likely the best option for a safe farm bot installation. Watering your plants is likely the most important function of the farm bot. And the farm bot is designed to work with a water pressure between 25 PSI and 55 PSI. If your water pressure is higher than 55 PSI, you will need to get a water pressure regulator to prevent overpressurizing the FarmBot water components. If your water supply has a pressure less than 25 PSI, you may consider adding a pressure tank or a water pump. In this example, the utility water and power come up the hill and then they go under the walking path to the FarmBot. We've done our best to minimize trip hazards. Moving on to the internet requirements, the FarmBot software requires an active internet connection, so there are two options for internet, Wi-Fi and hardwired ethernet cable. If your FarmBot is any more than seven meters or 25 feet away from your Wi-Fi router, we would encourage you to run a hardwired ethernet cable and ensure a reliable internet connection. Alternatively, if you're not able to run an Ethernet cable, you may need to use a Wi-Fi signal booster or a Wi-Fi range extender to reach your farm bot with a strong, reliable signal. When it comes to building the garden bed, there are a few simple things that you need to know about the farm bot. Number one, the farm bot does not operate on a slope. You must position your farm bot so that it can operate on level ground. Number two, the garden bed needs to be constructed with precision. The corners of the raised bed need to be built with exactly 90 degree angles so that the tracks are parallel. If the x-axis tracks are not parallel, you can run into reliability issues later on in the installation. And then number three, depending upon the type of soil you have, you may also need to consider drainage ports or drainage rocks for your farm bot. You will want to ensure that there is no buildup of stagnant water in the garden bed. The construction of the planter bed is one of the most important aspects of the farm bot build. We would encourage you to take some time to review our online instructions on how to build the planter bed. Ideally, the fixed raised bed needs to be constructed on a sturdy supporting structure. We suggest that cedar is likely the best material for constructing the raised bed. You can also use other naturally rot resistant woods like redwood or cypress. We strongly discourage the use of pressure treated lumber or womanized wood. Pressure treated lumber contains a nasty chemical called CCA, chromated copper arsenate. This chemical can be toxic to humans, so it's important to keep any pressure treated wood separate from your growing soil. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and have fun setting up your farm bot. <laughs>